In this video, I will explain how to understand your eBay seller hub displays. If you don't see this window yet, chances are you are not opt-in in the seller hub. To do this, you simply need to go to ebay.com slash sharsh. It means when you click on this link, you will be able to opt-in in the seller hub. Nothing happened for me because I am already opt-in in the seller hub. If you aren't opt-in in the seller hub, you will see the pop-up window with the seller hub and big blue button somewhere here to opt-in in the seller hub. Inside seller hub, we have easy navigation for all the most important things for us to sell on eBay. And eBay have prepared us things we need to focus on before we are selling we are seeing unread messages it's a lot but it's mostly for best offers and something from ebay promotion we have amount of items we have to ship out after we get a sale we have our last 31 day sales displayed we have our seller level displayed and we have research recommendations we will talk about this later now the very important thing for you to understand that seller hub is customizable thing so to explain everything i will customize and select all of the things to make it easier for you once we are finished we click on i'm done and i'm start to explain it at the very first tab because you can arrange it if you want sales to come on first you also click on customize and you can arrange you can put it sales here but i want to put tasks first because it's the most important thing on ebay so when we do get a sale or something like a return or a item not received case we will firstly see it here so my tasks for today for my account is to print and ship labels for one of my items that i recently sold and we have a suggested actions that we should complete it means finish setting up store to help improve conversions so once all of the tasks are done there will be no tasks to be done it means that you are done everything and there is no active tasks you need to do on ebay this tab will display all the recent sales for today last seven days 31 days and 90 days as you can see my account has recently started so i don't have much of the sales and i'm not sure if i'm going to sell anymore but it just shows you how many of revenue and sales do you got keep mind that these bars display revenue with sales tax and VAT so if you are seeing that on Wednesday I received 69 euros in revenue it means that this revenue is included with sales tax or VAT next we have orders and everything regarding our orders so we are seeing how much items we have to ship at this moment how many returns we have how many customers do want to cancel the transaction they just made how many items items are unpaid and waiting to payment from the client and how many items are shipped and are waiting for our feedback now for the feedback i highly suggest to set up automated feedback so you don't need to leave feedback manually for each and every order and you also have orders eligible for combined purchases it means that if some of your clients purchase three two or five or even ten items that are different you are eligible to offer them lower price on shipping so if there will be multiple of orders from the same client there will be option to choose and send them off with lower shipping prices next we have listings and there is nothing special or anything necessary you need to know it only displays the active listings you have listed on ebay you also got a question so it will be displayed if someone wrote you a message regarding the particular item it will appear here even if you do respond to those messages they won't disappear i don't know why but it's just showing that the there are items with the questions you have to respond next we have traffic and traffic is only for your research purposes so it means it doesn't display anything you need to do today but it simply shows that is your traffic improved or it's getting worse so in my case i have less impressions but my click-through rate and listing page views are up going next we have seller level we are in region usa because we are selling in ebay.com keep in mind that once you register your ebay account you can log in with the same credentials 
to each and every eBay domain. If you registered eBay.com, you can uh, log in with the same details to eBay Germany, eBay United Kingdom, eBay Spain, and so on. Under the seller level requirements, we will see that we are above standards. And if there is something wrong with our account, we will be below standard. If we are selling for a long period of time and we achieved something in eBay, we will be top rated sellers. For this time, we are above standard, which is perfectly fine for our account health and if there is something wrong with your account you will see it right here so transaction defect rate will be displayed here if it's zeros it's totally fine it's good once you get a defect rate for not solving the case of not item received or return case it will be displayed here once you get those cases you chances are you will be evaluated as below standard next month keep track of those transaction defect rates and late shipment rates because it may affect your account and sales as you can see I have uploaded a tracking number 100% time for each of my orders and I haven't had any case that closed without seller resolution it means if I had any case and I wasn't in in then case to find a solution for my buyer eBay will count this towards my negative and defect sales rate moving on we have feedback and it's only for ourselves we don't need to do anything with it we just have to keep track on it so if someone just left you a negative feedback you have to communicate with the buyer to solve this thing and perhaps that buyer will decide to leave you positive feedback once you resolve the problem with your sale next we have shortcuts which is very easy to use and you can actually input any link you want for your shortcut so if you are selling as a dropshipper you can actually input your your source for your items access it faster when needed but in my case I'm not using any of these uh, sometimes I just use report buyer option if I seems that buyer is very abusive next we have selling tools everything eBay are suggesting us to use and you can take each a and everyone and read it about it but, but usually sellers are not using anything except markdown manager or promoted listings markdown manager and subscriptions next we have seller announcements it means there are news and updates from ebay so each day each week each month ebay sending you an updates regarding the platform the marketplace so you can read and track every detail about ebay changes and how it can affect your account Next we have promotional offers which is simply an advertisement from eBay. So if you have any promotional offers you have to read their terms and conditions before agreeing on this because in some cases you might use 1000 listings for free but then it will not be free and if you haven't got any sales you will have to pay for insertion fee next month or even after three months so keep in mind that those promotion offers are good but you have to calculate and read terms and conditions now regarding monthly limits i have almost million in usd amount and 900,000 in item quantity amount it doesn't mean i can list 900,000 items for free it only means that my store is eligible to list such amount of items if you want to know how much items you can list it for free it all depends on your store subscription if you don't have any store usually you can list up to 500 items for free but in my case when i have basic store subscription i can list 1000 items for free as you can see it starts on august and ends up on september but it doesn't mean that you actually can list 1000 item for free every month it means that every month if you have listed one item previously month once it was relisted after 30 days you will be consuming one of these space of 1000 listings so keep in mind that if you have 1000 free items to list on ebay it means that 1000 items is listed in the previous month will require those space too so it's two different things monthly limits and the amount of items you can list for free next we have research if you are a huge seller and want to research your items and browse on eBay what are selling and trending at this moment you can use their insight tool to search for a particular category of items to sell on eBay now if you are just registered uh, eBay offers you guides on how to get started on eBay and if you are very new you should look and read and watch all of this video once again we can actually customize our seller hub the way we want it looks so if we want orders to be in the first place we can move it right here and 
you can do it with each and every of this tab of the seller hub.